I'm gonna go down to the corner for right here. Down in the drain. I guess they block You know your tire holders are down there in the drain. Your tire holders are in the drain. Two of them. Two of them plastic. Yeah. Hello, Tay Lynn. Amish. We in Union County, Florida. Or Blake Butler, Florida. Union County. I can keep from getting run over. My eye on you. We figured we'd come check out this old, old, old courthouse. The elections office in here. Should we go in there and ask them some questions about what parties there are? Yeah, they probably won't like us. They're probably getting phone calls now. Think they'll uh but look how old this building is. It's like Oh there's the sheriff's office. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's like an old gas there's station. Union County Sheriff's. There's an old gas station or something. I thought there was something back here. Yeah, they got cameras right there on the corner. You know, they're looking at us. They're looking at us. Wonder if you're allowed to shoot the bird here. That's an employee entrance only. I got my little sign right there. Union County Sheriff's Office. And they got one up there too. No, I've never been to this town before. It's pretty cool though. And they got a bunch of old bicycles back there. It's like an old mini bike. Got another camera. Right there. Hey, how's it going? There's a couple of guys. What's that? That's a county emergency operations. Oh, concerned? Right. Concerned about what? What would just again somebody be taking the sheriff's office and our patrol vehicles? It just makes us concerned. Yeah. What's your name? I'm sorry, I can't see. It's Billy Townsend. Billy Townsend? Yeah. You're the sheriff? I think Are I seen your name. No. Yeah. Didn't okay, I just well, see your well, name I'm somewhere? Just trying to find out what's going on. That's it. Oh, you the captain? Yeah. On the Sergeant. Okay. Okay. Is there a story we need to know about or something? It's just Probably. The sheriff's office is a secured facility. Okay. We're just. We oh, okay, yeah. You're secured in there, I mean? You're secure in there? Do you, you have questions about anything going oh, on? Oh, no. We'd be glad to try to help you. No, if, if, I'm sorry. I didn't want the going. smoke to go to towards you, man. No, That's not what it's to, about. We're, we're curious. Our job, job is to check things out, okay? Okay. That's all we're doing. All check right, them out, then. Simple. Just check it out, then. That's what you do, yeah. That's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, already got another one over there. I'm just walking down the street. In actuality... I'm a, I'm a free American walking down the street, not doing anything. What I'm doing is constitutionally protected. And now I'm being accosted by two officers and another one over here that's coming out here. And you're starting to get a little bit uptight. I've already noticed that. I didn't want to push your buttons, and I don't try to. Can you turn the camera around on you when you talk like that, please? I'm just curious if you're willing, if you're willing to turn the camera around on you and video you as you talk to us. Well, everybody already knows who I am. I'm just saying. We don't know who y'all are. We don't know who you are. We're asking you. We've told you who we are. You're Captain Williams. I am. What's your badge number? 
So if anybody walked up the street here, you would come out and ask them. We're going to ask them who they are. That's just normal stuff. But but what's the difference if we're videoing or if you're driving down the street and people see you? There's a big difference when you're standing behind our patrol cars, getting our tag numbers, and you're videoing. The tag numbers are public office. information. I mean, well, here I got a question it's, for you. It's, 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 I'm going to ask. <laughs> we weren't videoing. The tag okay, I have a I have a question for you. Question. I've identified myself, told you who I am. I'm asking you to tell me who you are. I'm what? not forcing you. I'm not requiring. Well, check it out. I got a legitimate question. I question. I just you came up with. Have these cameras it. on me, so what I'm asking now. If you're going to bark at us, turn the camera around and put it on you. Bark at you? Yeah, you were barking People at us. People see us all so the turn time. The, turn the camera around and put I it on you when you talk. Okay. You know well, how come, how come those cars, cars are parked on what looks like a sidewalk? I don't have to answer your questions. But you work for me. Why not? I'm a citizen of America, and you're supposed to upstand and hold, huh? What, you have to be a Union County citizen for you to uphold my rights? I don't answer questions, but my point is, you work for the government because you work for the government, man. You work for the citizens. I'm a citizen in the free country. We're on our cameras all the time. People know exactly who we are. When you walked out the door, you showed your tyrancy. You showed your tyrancy when you came out the door. You are tyrants, both of y'all. Yes, you're trying to put your fear. You're trying to put fear in me. You're resorting to calling us names when I've been nothing. I haven't. No, you haven't been respectful. It's all on camera. Look at your camera. No. When you walked out the door, you violated my rights as a free American to walk down the street without a bunch of armed thugs coming out and saying, hey, what are you doing here? You're an armed thug to me, and you're a thug. Yes, that's what American people think of police now. You know, okay, check this out. You want to know who I am? I am the poor dirt farmer, okay? I have over 600 rapist cops on my page in the last six months who have done everything from rape their own dogs to raping babies. Y'all get six months probation. The Hawaii cop got six months probation. He raped at least two five-year-old little girls. Do you care about that? You know, you care about somebody walking up a public street with a camera in Florida videoing a, a beautiful old building. You're coming out here worried about your safety or someone's safety. You're not out here to help me. So you're a tyrant and you're a thug. So go back into your little protective little custody building. Go in there and wait for your retirement because that's all you're doing. Go on YouTube, Poor Dirt Farmer. Okay. Poor Dirt I'm Farmer. I'm curious. Yeah, over 600 rapist cops. You know what's really weird? I got stories that have a dozen cops, three cops, five cops. I got stories that got 32 cops that are fired at one time. You know, you guys are out of control. All you worried about is your safety. You don't care about me. Yeah. Take the walk of shame because you're a tyrant thug with a badge and a gun who think you own me but you don't i'm a free american i go where i want do what i want and i don't break the law so now, go back in the, go back in there yeah you're not taking my rights away today thug take your thug ass back in there where you belong bye bye felicia bye felicia you came out and accosted me you could have stood there and looked and watched and done your investigation Go away. Don't go away mad, but just go away. Yeah, I know you won't. But someday, when you figure out you're on the wrong side of history, one day, oh no, don't put your imaginary, don't put your imaginary friend on me. There's been over 5,000 religions and you picked the right one. I know, you picked the only right one. All the rest of the 5,000 religions are made up, make believe. I'm glad you picked the right one. Just thank God you didn't get to pick a bad one. <laughs> That's Union County thugs, tyrants for you people. Come out and investigate. Free Americans walking down a street in a public street in America. You get attacked by thugs with guns. We ain't even made it half a block, and we've already got thugs with guns. Ain't even walked half a block.
on a free public street. They got the sidewalk all blocked off. That shouldn't be like that. How are they going to park on a sidewalk? I can't even walk down the street. They got cars all over the daggone sidewalk. They got this street blocked off for authorized vehicles only, so we can't go down there. Yeah, that's where they got their jail, where they got their slave labor. Don't go away mad. Just go away. I wanted to go see this lake down here is what I wanted to go see, but and it don't say we can't go through there, but I'm not going to play with them because I know they're tyrants. Yeah, it only says vehicles, but it just gives them an excuse to come out and show their gang member mentality. No, it doesn't. So gang member mentality, man. We're coming out to investigate. Why don't they go investigate some of them rapist cops I report on? How about they investigate one of them 600 that I've reported on in just the last how many months? Raping babies, child porn. They got lawyers in Tallahassee, got baby dolls that are sex toys, the shape of a baby doll, recently used. That's Tallahassee lawyer for you. Come out there with their guns and their badges. They didn't say hello, welcome to Union City. How y'all doing? I see y'all got cameras. They tried to backpedal a couple times. You got any questions? We'll help you. I wanted to go see the damn lake. So I wanted to damn see with some water, but there wasn't nowhere to park down here. So I know I get an attitude, but I don't care. Don't piss me off. I guess you got to go around the whole block to get the other side. If you want to walk, you want to walk around that way. Let's go that way. Go back down that way. Now that maybe now I don't even want to go to the lake now. I can't even go to the lake and be mellow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They always want to put their little stormtrooper attitude on somebody. And I'll tell them all. What about the 600 rapist cops I've just reported on? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the Louisiana cop. You want to talk about him? He raped his canine dog on his, and videoed himself doing it. I'm going to go across the street because some crazy fool might come right up here and try to run me over again like they did the other day. But they got the sidewalk all blocked off, you know. The dispatcher parking only. They want to take a picture of me. You already got a picture of me. Y'all ask the feds. They know me well. They violated my rights too. You got away with it. They ain't doing it no more. That's why I carry a camera. So they'll say whatever they want to say. They got camera right there. They could have sat inside. They just wanted to come out with their little old tyrant thug gang member attitude, try to scare somebody off. Go watch. Poor dirt farmer. Call me Chuck. I drive a big red truck and I don't give a fuck. Got flat feet and walk like a duck. And there's the substation. Union County. We'll walk down the damn street and not have a cop walk up and say, hey, what are you doing? Why do you got a camera? Because I'm an American and I enjoy freedom. And I have the freedom to walk around in America with a camera. I mean, it's a cool building, man. You guys... I like old buildings, man. I think that is really cool looking. It's probably an old school or something, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's always been the courthouse. <clears throat> yeah. Just like the thugs they are. It don't matter where you go in this country. They got cameras right above the door. Look at that. But there's the flag, but it don't mean nothing. She's sad today. Look, it's just hanging there. A sad day in this country. Pull out a camera, walk down the street, and see what happens. Oh, thank you. I seen a bar go by, but I didn't see who, who did it. Just thank you, Terry. Thank you so much, man. Terry Golson, thank you very much. You know, I mean, like I said, we didn't make it a half a block. Not a half a block, man, in America. 
You can't even walk half a block without goons coming out and what are you doing? We're investigating. Why are you looking at our cars? Because you guys are a bunch of criminals, a bunch of gang thugs. That's why we're watching you now. But you heard him. He don't work for me. Oh, am I of Union City? Oh, he only works for the people of Union City. He doesn't work for the rest of America. So if you're not from this county, he's not working for you. So you better be careful if you show up here. Yeah. Disabled entrance. My eye on you, y'all. Don't forget, go over there and subscribe. And give him some watch time. This is the employee entrance. For security reasons, this door is locked to the public. You must use the main entrance or the east disabled entrance. Hmm. Excuse me, ma'am. Are they allowed to have cameras in your courthouse here? You say you can? I can't trust them. There's tyrants in here. We just basically attacked on the other side of the building. I didn't want to put that kid on the video, y'all. Yep, but this is a... Uh, Ain't he made a half a block, three of them with guns that surround us. And this is Union City for you, people. She was nice, I have to admit. She was very nice. I don't know what's going on over there. It's probably a funeral or something. Who knows? Something probably terrible happening. Don't look like anybody's having any fun. So we got the board. Judge's office, property appraiser, sheriff's office, tax collector, driver's license. And if you're handicapped, you can go in here. They got a handicap exit for wheelchairs. Pretty nice of them. Got the digital meter reader. See, this is where I wanted to go. I wanted to go all the way down there to the water. Probably a long walk for most people, but there's a big old flag down there and stuff. We should have parked closer, I guess. Look, everybody, every time I go anywhere. Huh? This thing's no two trucks. Well, I'm going to take the shortcut. Well, there ain't no sign. Yeah, so we could drive, we could actually drive this way. Yeah. You know, but Look, there's a kitty kitty. Kitty kitty. kitty. Well, come here and say hi. Oh, come here. Yeah, that's, come here, uh, kitty kitty. Jail. Well, come I here. Guess, uh, that gives them a lot of come room here. to play in there, Kitty kitty. How many people they have in there? Well, come say hi. Come here. Kitty kitty. Come say hi. Meow, meow, well, come here. I said, nope, I ain't coming near you. Well, where you wanna go next, man? I'm about bored. I'm about, oh, you're gonna go in there and file for public records? I think Foyer's uh, um, federal. What's this thing over here? There's another big old building over here. Is this a funeral or something? I don't want to put it on my. We just walk around videotape. Got like a vlog thing, you know. We walked around. I was heading down there to the flag. I was wanting to go see that river, but it was over there, and I couldn't find a place to park. So we parked out on the road. As soon as we started walking up the road, three cops come out of this building over here, and we're like, "We're investigating what you're doing with a camera." I'm like, "I'm a free American." Check that cat. We out there. There's no signs right here. That's why I was wondering if we walk through it or not. I thought that's it's a private place. 
Is there a sign that shows it? To... So that's why I say that it should, if it's a private road, shouldn't there be a sign to tell people yeah, there's no, yeah, yeah. Cool. no access? Who are you guys? So you guys work for the county? Yes. Do you? Hi, my name is Poor Dirt Farmer. I do uh, news reports on YouTube. I've reported on over 600 rapist cops in the past six months that are child molesting, perverted rapist cops all across the United States, coast to coast. How they get uh, probation for raping five-year-old little girls, and and they just get out of everything, you know. And like I say, and then like when we came out to there, we parked out there on the street, and we were heading toward this lake, and then three cops came out over here, the captain, lieutenant, you know. They got guns. They're wanting to investigate what we're doing, walking down the street in America with a gun. I mean, with a camera. They might as well had a gun well, because a well, he got a cannon. It might be because of this big viewing. Now, he was worried about us filming cop cars. That's all he said. We're filming his cop car. We we're just walking past an old courthouse. It just shows the the tyrancy of the police nowadays. He could have come out and said, hi, y'all. I'm from Union County. My name's Lieutenant such and such. I see y'all looking, taking van, you know, videos and you know, I just wanted to invite you to a, welcome you to our town. Is there something I can do for you? It's the way you approach people. That's why we walk around with cameras now, because we're documenting how they're treating Americans. You don't want to be treated like that. You don't want your kid to be treated like that. Huh? Yes, you're live on YouTube. Poor Dirt Farmer webpage on YouTube. If you go to YouTube, well, I don't have to. We're in public. I'm, I could have just not said anything. You know? But that's the point. If we don't, if we give up our rights, that means the next time you go to the beach, you won't be able to take a picture. Oh, I'm sorry I interrupted you guys, man. I appreciate you talking to me and not slapping me around like a lot of the cops and sheriffs do. They all hate me, but hey, I'm just a poor dirt farmer. Hey, I just want to enjoy your beautiful town, man. We drove all the way here to see it. We weren't accepted very well all the way from the start. If you go on my webpage, you'll see how we were treated. And you make a decision for yourself. Is that the way you want to treat your people in this in this thank you take care i guess that's the way they treat people in this day and age prison guard this is the state attorney's office eighth judicial circuit oh we're in the eighth judicial circuit this is a person that works for the prisons. Hello, how are you? You don't know any crooked prison guards, do you? No, I do not. You've heard about them though, haven't you? Do you know any crooked sheriff deputies? No, I do not. Not one? Have you ever heard of one? She won't talk. Hey, tell YouTube hello at least. You're live on YouTube. What prison do you work at? UCI? Don't violate nobody's rights, please. And if you know any officers are raping anybody, turn them in, okay? Please, because they're doing it every day. I have stories on my webpage about it. That's the way they do it, man. Yeah. There's the lake down there that we were wanting to go to. I don't know if you all no, can see it. No, I have nothing to do with the chalk wall shirts. Um... I mean, we we brought a couple from December fifth home, but they were they were us. Uh, Janet has all the. You want to go down here and see these boats? I'm used to walking long ways. If you don't want to come, I understand. I'll be back. I gotta go. Something's calling me to the water. It says, "Come to the water." I'm always drawn to the water. I don't know why, but you see now they come out there. And then when they get a little bit lippy, I lose my my cool. I admit, I shouldn't act like that. I should have tried to stay more focused, and I didn't. Uh... Oh, let me turn that one video off. That one was a still camera. It was running for 20 minutes. Hell, it'll be filled up in no time. I don't know what it is down here. Some kind of... Man, got me all upset. You shouldn't be treated like that. You know, when you're a, when you're an officer and you approach somebody, if you approach somebody with respect and say, hello, my name is such and such, because you're approaching me, you're wanting to take my time out of my day and question me or talk to me or investigate me. The best way to do that 
is to be polite and friendly to me or to any American, every American, even if they're not an American. I expect them to say, hello, my name is such and such. I'd like to talk to you, but it's starting to rain. I'm going to have to turn around. Oh, it's like a park and oh, it's really cool. Well, here come the rain now. Man, we're going to get soaked. I might have to shut this thing off and put it in my plastic bag that I got in my pocket because you got to carry stuff like that just for rainy days. I mean, but now you think about it. If them th two cops would have walked out there and said hello, how y'all doing? Hey, how you doing, man? Hello, welcome to YouTube. They were taking pictures of us. I'm going to put my, hey, he talking about turning the camera around. I could have did this. I don't know if I could, you could see me or not. I don't try to hide from nobody. I'm not hiding. Australia. <laughs> Hello, Australia. <clears throat> it's raining down here in Florida now. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we're getting rained on pretty good. And now when we go back to our car, I'm sure they're going to try to follow us. You know that, right? It's all in how you treat people, man. Yeah. So now they want to go inside the place. Oh, Lord. Here we go, y'all. Now I got PDF with me, Joe Cool. Porter Farmer. Hey, right there. What's up, Joe? The cop asked, he wanted to know why we didn't put the camera on ourselves. He acts like we never get on camera. I just <laughs> turned it around on myself a minute ago. You know, um, we don't turn it on ourselves when they're, when they're there because you never know. They might hit me. Woo! <laughs> That's a bad car right there now. She ain't playing, boy. <laughs> Yeehaw! GT power, powered by Ford. They're gonna come out there and try to treat somebody with disrespect. I didn't cuss him none. Called him for what I seen him, a tyrant. He didn't walk up and say hello. And I really don't even remember what he said, but I know it wasn't friendly. It wasn't how I approach people. I approach people and say hello. Not a public entrance. Here we go, y'all. Hold your breath, man. Could get wild. Could get wild. It's pouring down raining. You think we'll get off on a better foot this time? I kind of doubt it. What now? I said, you think we'll get off on a better foot this time? I said, I kind of doubt it. Leaving best subject to be searched. There's nobody here. No food or drink. Well, hello. Feels like you're walking into the pit of the seat. There's a drawing of it. Oh, there's cameras everywhere. You should see them. There's one, two, three.
This is the office. Brad Whitehead's the sheriff. Here's Brad Whitehead, sheriff of Union City, 18 or 1953 to 1985. He was the sheriff for 30 some years. Do you think anything changed around here in 30 years that this man was the president? He looks like a bootlegging gangster back in the day in that old truck. If I was here. Hear the echo in here? One eight hundred or one eight six six eight four five tips. Call them up, tell them to be more nice when they walk up to people. And they'll get respected. This is, must be his office. He's got a whole bunch of pictures of people on the wall. I think that's the door they came out of when they attacked. Well, look at this old building. What is that? I need to put my glasses back on. I can't show. Old Union County Jail, 1923 Square, west of the present county jail. I wonder where the present county jail is, because here's the old jail from 1923. Yeah, that's why I say he looks like a gangster. Nineteen twenty-two drawing of the Union County. That's pretty cool. I don't think you allowed to go back here. John Whitehead, the sheriff of 85. Not now, maybe later. Say my how are you. Red Whitehead is Hey, I got not now, maybe later in my room, too. Oh, man. Hey, yeah. Hey, I'm going to send you a pink Dickosaurus now. <laughs> He's going to send you a pink one, not now, maybe later. <laughs> Well, he's faced up to 10 years. That's what it is. Yeah. They had been in court. But, uh, well, they was kind of mean to us when we first got here, but I don't see nobody. Hello. Hey, are you going in with me or not? In where? Oh, I didn't even know you were going. It's probably locked. Hmm? Hello. Hello, anybody here? Hello. Oh, yeah. There's an officer out here with his camera taking pictures of me. I need, uh, I need a public records request. Uh, captain? Yeah, uh, he's lieutenant, a, maybe. He's a, uh, he's a sergeant. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the sergeant. Excuse me? He took some pictures with his phone. I need those pictures, please. Oh. That was quick. Well, he went to the state attorney's office. No, we got to go to the school. All right. Hey, not now, maybe later. He abandoned me. I was abandoned <laughs> an old shoe. Now you got PDF mad at you. Now I ain't mad at not now. I can't get mad at not now. He put in too much hard work. No, we're not mad at you, man. No, I was just a little upset the way I was, they actually just treated me. I mean, if they would have walked out and said, hey, how y'all doing? You know, they could have investigated us a little bit more politely than the way that they did. And it just ain't right or fair. There's American people that were treated this way in this day and age by people who are supposed to be here for us. And how can someone be for you? How can you look up to someone when they walk up to you and treat you that way and respect that person? Even though they're supposed to be an authorized person wearing a badge and a gun to protect oh, you. Both of our feeds. Okay, that's cool. It's just not right in this day and age to be treated Question this way. For you, man. It is, I assume that uh, John, Jerry, and Brad are all related, correct? They are? And that's you kind of share. Jerry. 
John, Union County Sheriff, and Brad, Union County Sheriff. Looks like the Whiteheads control this town. I guess the Whitehead family controlled this town for many years, huh? A sheriff. Wonder if that's a good or bad thing. That could lead to things, you know what I mean? When the same family's always in the John, same office over and over, they kind of control the people of the, of the area that way. A lot of people call it the good old boy syndrome. I don't know what they call it in this town. Anybody that gets paid by the government, they will never stand up against the government because that's who they get their check from, and they're never going to stand up against who pays their bread and butter, you know what I mean? That's the way the society's set up. It's, it's more socialist now than it is anything because anybody that works for the government is basically a socialist. But they have to listen to their government, so that means they're, they're part communist. So if you work for the taxpayers and get paid by the taxpayers, you're basically a socialist communist being because that's the rules you've accepted and the check you take. But this is a nice little office. I mean, it's really nice in here. It's, it's pretty cool. Hey, I had Australia in here a minute ago. CCW got prosecuted. That's awesome. Oh, can I help you? Yes. Um, I want to come in, or you want okay. to build it up here? You're the captain. Was out there with me, right? Yes, yeah. sir. I like to point those pictures you took. Please. Okay. Well, how would you like to receive them? How do you want me to receive them? It doesn't matter. Public records request. However, you want to receive them. Can you email them? Sure. I mean, I don't mean no disrespect, sir, but okay. if, if you would have walked out there and said, hey, y'all, my name is Captain Willard and been proud of who you are. I'm Captain Willard, you know that, though, but you didn't okay. approach me that way. Our the way was, I know, to, okay, is, you know, we have a secure facility here. Right. Our problem is it raises a little alert when we see two guys that we're unfamiliar with. Right. We don't know y'all. Right. You know, we don't know you. And it raises an alert in this day and age. In this day and age. This, this day and age. Yeah. But now, the, the only thing I was wanting to say, the only thing I suggest, if I was your re relative or a friend of your relative, you would have probably walked up and said, hey, y'all, I'm, I'm captain, I'm sergeant, I'm lieutenant, whoever I am. I my name, even if you don't know someone. You should be able to say, hey, because I walk around everywhere with my camera. I'm more you of a vlogger. I, was right away, didn't you? I can't you see. I don't have glasses. I had to put my glasses on did. to read One your name. Me by name. No, I say captain. Probably. Yeah. 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 It looks clear. blurred to me okay. without my glasses on. But I'm just my point is all I'm saying is if you would have approached me, just me, I don't know how everybody else is. Well, but if you just said, I'm Captain Williams. I had to meet you and I would have been able to, we would have had a good conversation. My name's Poor Dirt Farmer on YouTube. Okay. Everybody knows me. Once you go on there, all the cops around here in Florida. Okay. Know. Uh, this is what I do. I okay. walk around in, with a camera in a public street to see how I'm treated by people in your position. If you would have walked out and said, hello, y'all. I see y'all are new in town. My name's such and such. Um, we was just wondering what y'all were doing with a back, friendly manner. You play it back. I walked out and I said, hey, can we help you? That was the question. That's I didn't ask I for help, you. though. I'm asking. And we said that no. Was my, and then you got, you got that's, that's my that's asking. Pretty much. But okay. I'm just saying. Sure. Okay, that's the way you do it. I'm just. Okay, I don't want to argue. I just want to. No, no, I don't want to argue with that. I said no. We don't need any help. And I wasn't trying to be a smartass. No, we were I'm just. Glad. We're just walking up the street. Hey, just think. You didn't do like Captain Mills did me in Swanee County. 
he come out and started slapping me around on the sidewalk. And when I filed internal affairs investigation, they investigated and found he did nothing wrong. It's just the camera. There's no gun. There's no nothing. And and that's fine. And 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 we've seen everything here, as you can imagine. But you're secure in here. What about them cameras? You were watching us, right? We see see people who are a threat all the time. I'm not saying that y'all two are, but that's the job that we do. Hey, have you seen over 600 rapist people in six months? 600 rapist people? Yeah, because we have a prison one mile Guess what? The ones that I report on are all cops. We do. Yeah. Over 600 rapist cops in six months oh, I've reported wow. on. In the United States, come on my page, you can watch. You'll see it. And that's what I'm worried about. Because I can only answer one of you all the time. I know. Go ahead. I, that's my get, whole thing. How do you get a prison full of rapists and, and predators and pedophiles when um, they're all over, the, all over the place? How do we get a prison? I don't. You have to ask the Department of Corrections that. Mm-hmm. I don't work there. I work here. Yeah. I don't know. I don't because, have an because there's, I mean, I just it's so easy to find. There are convicted. That's why they're long you know, they're, there. They're all over the place, and it's easy to find them because I, I also do that stuff too. We don't mean no harm. We ain't want to break no laws. We don't want to hurt nobody. I live over by Swanee County. Okay. You can call the captain, the chief, the police over there. They all know me. Okay. Taylor County, he's the chief that came out and said, boy, get your ass out of here. Who yeah. the hell do you think you are? Deputy Where tells you to do at? something, you do it. I was trying to walk into the courthouse in, in Taylor County. Just walk in. It's an old building like these. We know we can't go anything angry. But public I, I figured you knew the you know, law. Yeah. That's fine. And yeah. we just have, you know, anytime that there's camera systems and a security system and things like that, you just have but, to be careful. It's uh, the same thing if y'all are at the school. <coughs> you know you can't go and videotape our school. If yeah. I stand on the sidewalk, yeah. I can. We don't, we, if yeah, I'm out 100 on a public feet. sidewalk, right. I can we walk anywhere in the United States, that, right? right? Yeah, we okay. don't do schools. 500 feet. Yeah, as long as you're 500 feet, you pay the law. No. It's not yeah. a problem. Well, but well, what's going to happen let here? Let me rephrase it. Let me talk. Because we're such a small community. Somebody here is going to call, uh-huh. you know that. and we expect that. Look for it, yeah, we do. We yeah. actually do Somebody because I want to see how when they show up, do they say, "Hi, sir, my yeah. name is such and such. How you doing? I'm an Somebody's officer," of the, and then treat me with the respect. I give back a hundred. I'll tell you who I am, where I'm from, what I'm That's doing. What you know, I report on YouTube. I'm just doing stories. I'm like a journalist. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just walk around with my we camera. Never said either you know? one of y'all violated any laws. No, see, we what, just don't know you. Hey, I, I respect you for what you ha, what I don't respect everything that, that occurred out there that I did. And I don't respect everything that you did out there. I'm just saying that when you get approached by an officer and he hasn't broken a law, the first thing I think the officer should do is say, hello, sir or ma'am. My name is such and such. I'm of this department. I'm here to do a certain job. Sure. And will you talk to me or not? Because they don't have to talk to you. But, you know, so I'm just saying that's just to me is more the way if an officer walked up to every American that way, you would probably get a lot more respect back. Because, like I say, he's talking to his people on the channel. He's got hundreds of people watching from Australia. These videos, these videos are up there live. Sure. And a lot of people is going to want to come to Union County, Lake Butler. and They're going to search that. They're going to see this stuff. This is why we do this. And I mean, just search Swanee County and Taylor County. Especially. Yeah, type in Taylor County yeah. or Swanee County on YouTube. All you're going to see is poor dirt farmer videos. videos. And a lot of them are me playing on the river, throwing the sticks for my dogs, and just having a good time. I don't. Madison, White German Shepherds. Uh, yeah. You got pictures? On the YouTube page, I got plenty of videos. I got thousands of videos. But you know. Northern, Northern Florida mm-hmm. University of Madison actually teaches the new cadets by watching Who's these. That? Madison, Madison College, Florida, Florida. Florida College that teaches the cadets for Madison for, for the surrounding counties is, is soon to become law enforcement. They actually show our videos. Oh, and they're teach teaching them, them to say, hey, the guy with the camera is not a criminal. Yeah. He, uh, you can't criminalize someone sure. walking down the street with a camera, but you were suspicious of a guy with the camera. If there's a suspicious person, we're suspicious of a person. What, yes. def- what so defines a suspicious we person? You. We don't know you. You've got a camera walking around a public building. That's it. It's just that yeah. simple. Right. We just gotta check you out. See, we've checked y'all out. I still don't know either one of y'all's names. See, but you can find me. Out. I don't hide. I'm see, in all the newspapers. And one of the main reasons I don't say my name is because I'm live on the YouTube internet and there's thousands of people watching and it got what we call trolls. We can't even go to a restaurant and eat because if people know where we're at, they'll start calling the restaurants by the hundreds and get us kicked out of the restaurants where we can't even go to eat if someone knows where we're at. Why? 
you're but you get paid to do that. That's your job. And I told you I'm poor dirt farmer on YouTube. And by going on there, if okay. you have any kind of research, all you got to do is click on my I'll PayPal link that. and you'll see my name. Okay. Send me a dollar. I'll be happy. Right. <laughs> Donate to all PayPal. Right. You know? okay. He's very you. angry. <laughs> you look very angry. I'm just serious. I mean, you called me a tyrant. I felt that way. That's what I felt you were. That's what you call me. I, I know. Call you I don't care. I'm allowed to say I can shoot the bird and say FTP too legally, but I don't. I don't. I don't want that, man. You know what? I'll fight for you just like I will anybody else if you're a victim in this county. Yeah. But you know, but I was see, almost a victim out there. How I felt. Hey, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. We were good. And you handled it relatively well. We I mean, it's your job to. You, yeah. You're supposed to handle it, no matter what people put on you. People dictate my behavior. Good. You're definitely not going to dictate my behavior. Well, that's Great. Good. Great. Great. I love it. Right. I can see the sour look in your face. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can see it. I got, I'm good, but I can read things. Just, man. That's why I challenge you to put the camera on you because you had a sour look at the time, too. We're, we're on the camera all the time. Everybody so, knows me, man. I've got yeah, thousands of videos you know, on YouTube. You know, but you do now. I appreciate it. Like I said, I don't want to start trouble with everybody, man. I, Hey, I, I walk least, around and just have fun. Rights. That's the number one thing. But like I said, him, if you somebody walks up and says, hello, my name starts at such and such, and you don't even have to shake my and hand because you'd be afraid of me to get too close, I understand. But if somebody walked up and you walked up to every single person, even the people you're arresting, and said, hello, my name is such and such, I'm from this sheriff's department, and I'm here for this reason. Can we talk or whatever you got to do, tackle them, beat them up, shoot them, whatever happens. Because in this day and age, we all watch the Internet and we see how, like I said, I've reported on over 600 stories of racist cops in the United States in six months. Some of the cops have over a dozen. Some of them have 20 people being arrested, three, five, two, one. I mean, I've, I've reported on so many stories. And the one I always go back to is the Hawaii officer who got six months probation for raping at least two five-year-old girls. The judge gave him that. I got over 600 stories just like that in six months. I shouldn't be able to do that many stories. There's something wrong. There shouldn't be that many rapist cops in the United States. That's my point. And that's what I'm saying. There's a lot. There's a lot. I figured it's like 1%. Okay, which would be how many people? Well, there's 350 million. So what? But in my mind, 350,000, whether they're a cop, whether they're anybody, I'm nobody. Just I'm just asking a question. Yeah. If there's 300,000 cops, and how many have you interviewed or found cops? I've, I've done stories on over 606 600 months. In recent stories, not old less stories. Than, that's less than a half a percent. Let me ask you something. That's just rapist cops. I'm just saying, that's less than a half a percent. Okay. Now, what about the ones that are selling drugs? The ones that are doing all the other, if we put all them 1% together, it's not looking good on you guys' side, and it's your hiring problem because you guys will hire about anybody. They just fired 30 state cops up there in Georgia because they were cheating on the test for the radar. I mean, how hard can it be to learn the radar machine? Why would you cheat on that? You think they're the first ones? The whole class was fired up and won't quit. Here's what we can speak of. Our hiring practices are first class. Yeah, That's very, good, man. You know, it's very hard to get the I, I appreciate y'all talking to us. Most times we get kicked out everywhere we go. I, don't know I mean, I really respect that. The truck out here earlier, the kid here. But, um, yeah, he was very polite, too. Okay, good. You know, that's but that's, that's, that's what we're looking question. for. That's what we want to hear. Okay. If, if, I have a, if I have a predator online and I go and I expose him, and he was he was wanting sex with a 15-year-old, now, I come to you and I said, here's my chat log and here's my video. What would you do with that? In Union County? Yeah. First of all, we don't allow predators in our county. Well, what if we go online and we meet one that wants to be with? Listen, we can file charges. Listen, we can file charges. I can, uh, I can, I can, I can assure you, I can assure you. And, we don't have any known registered sex. No, no, these, these are not, wow. usually, they're not always registered. Yes, predators. yes. There's a difference, got, believe me. There's a difference. There's definitely yeah, a difference. There's a difference. You know, one that's been convicted, that to me, is a one that's out here just looking, that's a predator. Sure. Okay, but if I bring you a predator and I say, here's a video, here's the chat log, he was wanting to have sex with a 15-year-old or 14-year-old, you would you would go after him? If the crime was in Union County? Yes. If it was not in wow. Union County, we would, yes. we, would, we would pass it on. Investigate that, which is I kept. Absolutely. I'll we'll have my decoys on that tonight, and I bet you I find one within a week. Okay. Right. It's, not, it's not more than yeah. one. So you're going to tell them that's the name? You're yeah. going to tell them the name of the page? Go to Swanee Predator Hunters. That's, that's On YouTube or Facebook. Okay. We've already yeah. we've already 
in just recent weeks, we've already just put three up. You know, and this ain't a game. This isn't something that we play with because the first time he caught a predator, it was up in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and he was a high, high colluding post office dude. And when I put him on my page the next day, he ended himself. So this ain't a game that we're playing. We're not. That's what I'm saying. Though, when we do, when we walk around with our cameras and meet these people, this isn't for fun. That's rate is very high. So I'm proud of y'all, man. Like I said, I'm sorry I upset you. I'm sorry. I apologize for calling you a tyrant. But will you accept my apology? But that's how I felt at the time. I felt like I was under attack. You know what I mean? That was my feeling. I was afraid. I mean, you guys, you, know the feeling. you guys, do. you know what I mean? You know so, you know, we're feeling the same thing. You know what I mean? Even though we got a camera, it's our only hope is we're live and there's people all over the world, Australia, New England. I mean, there's people, South. I mean, I got people all over the world watch these channels. Every time I go live, people from all over the whole world, you know, and it's like, we're First Amendment auditors. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're called First Amendment activists. There's also Second Amendment auditors that go fishing with guns, and they'll be out there like on a pier with a gun, with a bunch of them with AKs on their back, pistols on their side, and they're fishing. In Florida, you're allowed to carry open carry. So, and they show up at places. Well, then people call the police. The police show up and attack them and get them on the grounds. And I mean, just do it. They're not breaking any law. Why should they be treated that way? So until we show these events happening over and over and over again to where people say, hey, it's a First Amendment auditor, dude, and everybody's carrying a camera for their protection, then we'll truly be free. But until then, when you can't even walk up the street past the police station without three people with guns coming out saying, hey, you're suspicious. What are you doing here? That's not free. Well, don't fear my gun. If I'm afraid of your gun. Don't fear me. my gun any more than I would fear your camera. Okay? Well, this, they, they call this a career-killing camera because there's a few of them that don't have jobs because of this camera right here now. But that's the way it works. If they want to show how they're acting and not obey Anything I'll ever shoot what they signed up for. Is it cannon? 30 frames a second. 30 frames a second. That's all we got. I like it. Hey, right. I, I know you're upset. I can oh, see it. I know. I can see it. Now, there's a smile, but I can see it, man. Hey. You're, you've been in the sun a lot today, have you? If I was upset, you'd know it. How would I know it? What would you do? Shoot me? Yeah. But you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't be showing up emotions as an officer. Okay. Good. Good. Well, That's good. Well, I guess you control it well. I don't know. I don't know how angry you get and how bad you lose your temper and what you would are, are capable of. Well, I hope I don't either because you're a law officer. You have a lot of uh, responsibilities to not do that. You In know? order for me to find out, you guys got to act out beyond the law. Yeah, because I don't break the you're law, not man. See I'm me not ever down here doing anything stupid. No, I'm not going to do anything you. against the law. I know the laws. I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to just express my freedom as an American to walk up the street with a camera. And to show everybody what happens when you walk past a police station in the United States of America in 2020 with nothing but a couple cell phones and a backup battery, how you're treated in America as a free citizen in this day and age. All right, with well, all the troubles that the cops are creating, and they worry about a camera. They don't worry about the 600 rapist cops that I've reported on in the past six months and how to stop that. Let me challenge you to do this. Do your research as to why cops are concerned about your video and your cars. Let you do your own research and you find out for yourself. Okay, let, 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 I'll research that because I'm a researcher, but here's the part that you need to research. We have a right to do it. I never said you did. Well, then why would you be concerned if we have a right to do so? Okay, I will. I will. And I'll tell you another thing. They just came out, a guy the other day just came out with a camera. And it's got a thing that folds down, and it's a two-shot pistol. You didn't see that, did you? So, you know what I mean? I can see why y'all be scared of a camera. I mean, it's an actual pistol. It looks just like a camera. Did you see it? So, you know, but this here, I mean, like I say, no, I, that's why I gave you that information. That's why I told you. That's something you can always use. You can say, well, the guy could have had a pistol. But don't shoot nobody for a phone, man. Don't shoot nobody for a phone. The other thing, too, it goes the other way. How do we know when you guys come approach us that you're not going to knock us down and shoot us too? And you heard him. He said, "When, when." Uh, what you do? You'll see it, yeah. yeah. You'll see it right. real. We'll and see and it. like he said, he said, we "When I our now. friends get okay. that, our friends get that." Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Right. I appreciate hey, it. Care, you got. Hey, I'll shake your hand again, man. I appreciate you. All right. All right. You've been nice enough. You deserve it. Thank, Thank you. you. Turned into a good day, I have to say. It's, it didn't start out the greatest, but it turned in okay. I think it's. I don't do what everybody else does. I want to talk to these guys. I want to spread the information. I want people to know what we're doing. I want people to know what freedom looks like.
Yeah. yeah. It's plugged in now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to with metal, they don't do nothing. No. Now that's, now that's pretty cool. I mean, hey, they were pretty nice. I mean, I have to admit, that's what you want when you're an American. You want to be able to talk to your officers. You want to talk to these guys, man. We need these people. There's people out there that will shoot and kill you just looking at you. And you don't want to have to walk down the street. I'm going to walk up to the corner, man. Come on. Just in case, you never know. I don't think there's a jaywalking um, thing, but. I hope we taught them something. I really do. I hope they learned a little bit. I learned a little bit. I learned I, I go off too fast. I know that. I should have been more. I should have been more reserved, I'm saying. Hey, I could have been worse, but I should have been. I should have. I lost control a little bit. I have to admit, y'all probably embarrassed about me. Hey, bro, probably say, man, he's a dumbass damn country boy. SNS, and S, mess. Yeah. I kind of got a little hot headed with the first there, didn't I? I probably should have been more reserved. I don't know if that thing gonna turn on us or not. This one ain't got a button on it. Oh, it's way back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Push across which way? Across the lake, you got one. There's my eye on you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share. Yep, there's a Meridian Behavior Health Clair. That's the people for the mental health facilities in the North Florida area. It's called Meridian. Get to the vehicle and we're going to call Fitz here for now and see where we're going. Uh, I'm sure if we go live. But uh, if we do, keep your eyes out. Yeah, shoot. We may get attacked again. I guess these damn lights ain't going to change. Next time they stop going, I'm leaving. <laughs> but, hey, like I said, I like talking to these people, man. I think if we don't, the only way we're going to educate them and society is to talk to them. You're not going to educate them by not answering questions and I mean, to me, you know, because I get beat up, man. They'll attack me. They'll beat me up. I'm always the smallest guy in the room, and I'm always the first guy they always try to jump on. And sometimes it works for them. Sometimes it don't. But that's the courthouse. It was nice. I mean, it was set up pretty cool. And I'm about tired of waiting here. I'm fixing to go. Maybe if we run across the street, push the button. Well, no, back, that, it'll that one doesn't turn red, so this one's supposed to turn green. You hear me? Huh? What if we hurry up and run over there and push the button, come back here? What if we change All right, in? you run over there and I'll stand here and, and, and not film this one you. back here don't do a damn thing. I see, we should have them. I'm gone now. They're all red. Everything, all the hands are red, so they're going to have to write me a ticket. But yeah, I wish I wouldn't have got so uptight so quick. I really do. I, I'd like to have a verbal com communication. I don't like to lose my anger. All right, folks, my... uh, that'll be it for now. Uh, thank you for joining in. Appreciate it. Uh, well, this is Union uh, County. What what county is this? Union County. Union County? Yeah. Union County, Florida. Lake Butler. Lake Butler, Florida. And I'm back quiet.